Hello everybody and welcome back to Josh's Iron Mario Challenge and we are on part four and we're going to try to conquer the last world of Super Mario Brothers for the NES so let's go ahead and get started on that. As I mentioned at the beginning of the other episodes, uh, this is a mission a challenge of mine to play all of what I feel are the core Super Mario Brothers games that really tell the history of the the brothers, the princess, Bowser. Not necessarily the ones in the middle like Mario Kart, though I mean I can get to those later on their own right. I'm not going to play Mario Party or anything like that, but we'll play the true sequels. How did I just fall there? I didn't have the momentum to run across. Well, that's a bad start already. But at least we have the bookmark of the 8th world, and if we die, we can start back at 81. Anyway, as I was saying, we'll play through this, we'll play through the Lost Levels, then the American Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and, and we'll move on from there. So, let's... We have enough momentum here, I think I'll just jump over just to be safe. I know there's a star here. this. I mean, we just have the one life. I don't know that we're going to make it. But we got to try, right? Alright, well, let's just take this slowly. This last bit here. Okay, and on to 8-2. Honestly, I'm still just really glad that in the last episode we were able to beat that seventh world. That's such a pain in the ass. Now back in familiar territory. It was a lot of fun, though, revisiting the, the old worlds and going through each one of them. It was almost easier than... The, like, I was worried that it wasn't... I was worried that it was going to be more difficult to go through the other worlds, like the 5th and 6th worlds, and really it was only 7 that, uh, that lived up to that fear, but you know what? I kind of feel good after beating it, you know, it makes you feel like you've actually improved as a player. Get under that. Okay, now let's make it to the end of this stage without being stupid. Okay. I've always liked how 8-3 looks. I don't, I don't know exactly why I think it looks cooler. Um, it's, just, it's like you're inside of a fort. You know, you're kind of like, you've entered the grounds of the final castle, but you're not there yet, so you're, you're just inside of these walls. Kind of neat. They didn't really use that, that texture on any of the other stages until now, so. Alright, come on down here. Figured he was going to come all the way to the bottom, and we'd have to wait for him to get back to the middle before we could kill him. But we can get a fire flower here and move along. Fire flower we want to keep; it will be integral to beating some Hammer Brothers toward the end of this stage. Get a fireball in there. Get him He's just off the screen. That goes sort of integral right there. There we go. Got some Hammer Brothers coming up. There we go. Much better than having to play tag with their hammers. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Might mean the difference between a, a life or not later. Probably should have been trying to do that earlier in the game. Alright. Final castle. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Two lives. Let's do this. Alright. So I can remember exactly how we have to go here. Cross this. I have to go in here. And now we have to go up here. Come on, die. Yes. 
go in here. Got a bit some uh, some lava cheap cheeps. I think we go in this one. Yes, and now we're in the water. If only we can keep this up and not get hit. We don't want to lose the fire flower. No, 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 don't wanna, don't wanna get hit. Go under. Counterclockwise. That's good, that's good. Use the fire flower here to beat this hammer brother. And don't get hit by this fireball. Take Bowser on, mono a mono. Doesn't even matter if the bridge is down. We've done it. This is the end of Super Mario Brothers. I don't plan on playing through the new game plus. I know that there's the new quest, but all that really does is replace <laughs> the, the Koopas with the Buzzy Beetles and eh. I'm just really proud of myself right now. I know this is a sort of a short episode. We're just over six minutes it looks like, so that's cool though. Uh, the next episode, we actually get to get a start on the Lost Levels, and if you were gritting your teeth in the last episode of this uh, this game, then uh, that's probably going to be even worse in the next one, I can't imagine. I don't know much about the Lost Levels, and I've never played through it. Let's go ahead and stop that music. Um, but yeah, uh, it'll be exciting. Something I've never actually achieved before, and I look forward to it. So if uh, you guys like this video and like the series, then... Uh, Go ahead and like it and share it and subscribe to our channel so that uh, you can get notified when we have another one out. Till next time, see ya.